Me kissing Pinocchio. We're gonna go out of that. I talk to my app sometimes. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Chloe and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special video. I feel like I say that a lot. Okay, I have got a fun video planned today. I got this idea from Instagram. A few people have asked me to do this. Okay, one person was Sarah underscore Kaklovsova. Sorry if I said that wrong. As well as, uh, where is the other one? Oh well. That is where I got the idea. So today, I am going to be doing what is on my iPhone. I did this on the on our old Rye Clay channel, but I feel, but I haven't done it here. So now I get to show you guys what is on my iPhone on this channel. So before we get on to this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you like this. Make sure to go and follow my Instagram in the description box below because again, I ask you guys for help on videos. You may not think that I look at your videos or your ideas, but I do. I click through almost every DM if I get the time because I really love getting ideas from you guys. You guys are all very creative. Sometimes I am not very creative, so I just don't know what to do. So you guys are super helpful and a big part of my channel. So now I'm gonna stop talking and let's get on to the video. Okie dokie. So. To start off on my phone, I have got my home page, which is right here. So I'm gonna start on the bottom. I've got my phone, I've got texting. I was just texting my mom on that. I've got my camera. So there's that one. Then starting on the top left-hand corner, we've got general, which has got my settings, which is really boring, so I'm not gonna show you that. Then we've got notes, which is, I use that a lot. Like, that is a big part of my phone. That is one of the main things I use, as well as Instagram, and YouTube, and Netflix, and, okay, anyways. So on notes, I've got, as you can just see, hairstyles, I've got video ideas, I've got uh, French words, videos, all of this stuff. So that is a big part a big thing that I use. Next is calculator, which I don't know why, but I can just use it right here. So, not sure why it's an app, but oh well. Then I've got home, which I have no idea what that is. So that's just there. Then I've got weather, which can tell we're in New York right now. Just kidding, we're actually not. But it shows the weather, Santa Clara, New York. Since I just got this phone, I haven't set up some of these apps. Then I've got Google, Google and Safari, which I actually don't use much. Actually, I do use Safari sometimes, like once a week maybe. I don't know what I use it for, but there's that. Moving on to the next one, I've got shopping, which is my favorite. So I have this app called Romway, which I actually really love Romway. Romway is my favorite. Romway. I don't know how you say it, so don't judge. But on wrong way we on wrong way we we're just gonna call it that. Oh, pretty person. Um, um, I like to look at some shirts I'd like to get. Surprisingly, um, it's all really cheap stuff and it's really good material as well. But I just never have the time to buy any of the stuff because it is online and I like to shop like in real places. And it takes a while to get there, but it, again, it is cheap, it's really nice. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Also, comment down below if you'd like to see a Romway haul, or my mom buys my Romway outfits, comment down below. Next, I've got Amazon, which I actually do not have an account set up in this, and so I just use it to look things up, so that's not really. Okay, so that's not really useful, but whatever. Then I've got Yelp, which is, um, you can use this for wherever you are, it'll tell you the best restaurant, the best shopping stores, or near you, like, if I'm in this place, 
it'll show near you the best store. So like if you look up clothing, it'll show, oh, H&M is right here or other clothing stores that are right next to you. So that's really helpful. Then I've just got the App Store and iTunes Store. And the App Store is what I use to download my apps. Haha. -ha. And then iTunes Store, we're actually setting up an iTunes, so right now that's not useful. Next is social media. My absolute favorite app, I mean, folder on my phone. So we've got Instagram, which, oh, I have two new messages. So I use this for my polls. What's up everybody? I'm filming a video right now. I'm not gonna post that. But I've just got that where, where I use to post my pictures. So click, check out right here, my Instagram. Then I've got TikTok, Musical.ly. Ooh, let's do it Musical.ly right now. Well, there you go. There's a Musical.ly. So go and follow my Musical.ly. It's in the description box as well. Next is Pinterest. This is my favorite. This is where I find some picture ideas. I find quotes. I actually haven't found many quotes lately. I find ideas for our room, which I love looking at, even though sometimes it really kills me on the inside. <laughs> but anyways, next I've got Layout and Boomerang. These are Instagram apps, kind of. So in here I can make lots of different photos. So this, this, that's the ocean. Um, this, this, anyways, so I can use it to make a pretty layout, maybe for like on the wall, I never really post those kinds of things, but it's just on my phone, I actually use it to combine people's faces, that was so random, but maybe sometime I'll show you, probably not, because it's very disturbing, um, then Boomerang, which is an amazing app, so, Although I feel like the um, in the Boomerang app is much slower than on Instagram. So if you go on Instagram and you do one, like the same one, it's much slower and much longer. So if you want to know that. Then we've got Marco Polo, where I sometimes talk to my friends, but it's not set up right now. So Marco Polo is an app where it's kind of like FaceTime almost, or text messaging, but also FaceTime. So you can send a video of them saying like, hi, what's up? And then say like, how's your day? And then they can talk to you right after. It's pretty fun and really easy. Then we've got Cameo. Go and follow me on Cameo. So Cameo is an app where um, you guys can request a shout out. You do have to pay but it's a pretty it's pretty cheap um but you can pay and then i i can give you a shout out so like if someone said hey my name is laura and um today was my birthday and i just tried out for the soccer team i'm really nervous so i could be like hey laura happy birthday just want to let you know i love you congrats on trying out for the soccer team and i can kind of just talk to you answer your questions whatever you guys want and it's a pretty fun app i haven't actually done anything yet so Go and request shout outs so I can talk to you guys because I would love to do that. That would be so fun. Next is Video Star, which I actually haven't used much either. Yeah, it still isn't set up. But Video Star is where you what you can use for your Musically app. So that's great. Next we've got Extra, and we're gonna skip that because that's just everything that you have on your phone. Actually, I have got Bin and Google Translate, those are two things I downloaded. Bin shows all the different places I've been, thus the app is called Bin. And then Google Translate's really fun, so you can take a picture of, say something said Guten Tag. You can take a picture or write it down, and um, you can translate from German to English. And then I've got Health, which I've got Clue, which is a fun app, not going to talk about right now. It's an app for wonderful ladies. That's all I'm gonna say. And then health is just something that is oops, downloaded into your phone. Then we've got Musica, and I've got Spotify, which is almost exactly like Pandora, except Spotify 
since we're out of the country right now, I'm able to use it um, in the country, which is nice. Pandora I can't use out of the country, but that's fine. Then I've got Music Center, which hooks up to my speaker and music, which or iTunes, which I can't really use right now because it's not set up. Then we've got Watching. I'm not sure why, why it's called Watching, but that's okay. I've got YouTube where I find video ideas for my channel or just watch videos because I'm bored. Then we've got Netflix where I also watch videos. Then I have Social Blade which actually tells the amount of subscribers we've gained that day which is really helpful to know, okay today maybe I did a bad day compared to all the other days. Fix up your channel a bit. Same with YouTube Studio. I'm not going to open this app because it's got special things. But YouTube Studio shows the statistics, so how you did today, your views for each video, comments. It's a really helpful app for those that do YouTube. Then we've got United, which is where I can watch movies on the plane. Only United planes. Anyways, now for photo. Watercolor. I'm actually going to delete because it's kind of useless. No, I don't want to go to you. Sorry. I talk to my app sometimes. So we've got Huji, which you guys have probably seen on some of my videos. So it kind of has some vintage pictures. I don't know what it's called, but sometimes they'll have the, that light streak that you saw. And I just really like it because it makes it look better. Oh, look, me kissing Pinocchio. We're going to go out of that. Then I've got FaceTime. Not sure why it's in this um, folder, but oh well. Then we've got Fonto, which is where I edit a lot of my... This is actually where I put words on all of my thumbnails. So like if you see this high school advice, that's where I write hi, you can see high school advice. It is so helpful, helpful for me. So any of you YouTubers or YouTube, not YouTuber wannabes, but a nicer way of saying that. Um, that is a very helpful app if you're wanting to add text to your thumbnails. Then we've got Camera Connect, which connects to my camera. And so I can download pictures onto my phone from that. Then we've got photos and quick cam. Quick cam is just like Huji, but it makes the photos a little bit different. So let's try this. Come on. It also takes a little longer, but whatever. And there you've got it. It makes it a little more grainy, but it also has the Huji. It's really cool. I actually really like this. So now I'm done with photo. Now onto music. Actually, that should be um, LDS. So, if any of you guys know what a Mormon is or a Latter Day Saint, um, I don't know. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can find out more about that. But I've got music, which has our church's hymns that we sing every week, um, and then library is where I have my scriptures. I've also got. I've also, so it's teachings of presidents, general conference, some videos. It's really cool um, for Sundays. Then I've got Duolingo, which is where I learned my French, my Francais. See? Oh, dang it, I got it wrong. So that is where I learned my French. Then I've got Mail, Calendar, and Gmail. You guys should know what those are. Then I've got games, my favorite part. Just kidding. I actually don't play these games much unless I don't have Wi-Fi or I'm just bored out of my mind. So I've got Helix Jump, which is a fun game. A lot of I've actually seen a lot of people have this game. So this is how you play it right here. It is so much fun. And it it's kind of like mind numbing for me because I just move my thumb. Then we've got dots, which is where you connect dots and try to earn up points. Then we've got slices, which is a very confusing game, but it's actually pretty fun. I can show you. Oh, dang it, I lost my streak. Oh well. Um, give it a second. Okay. So this is where you try to... Um, it's hard to explain, but like... Oh my gosh, I'm doing horrible this round. Try to fill up these like pizzas but then you also want to fill them up so much that then you earn points from like smashing them almost 
So like that, if you saw, that's how you play. It's very confusing. Then we've got Angry Birds and Hole.io. So those are all my games. And yeah. Alright y'all, so that was my entire what's on my iPhone. That was a very long video. I'm so sorry about that. But I hope you guys liked this video. Maybe you guys got ideas for what you guys want for dinner. What did I just say? What you guys maybe want on your phone. So comment down below if you have maybe some of these apps or some apps that you think I should get maybe for photo editing or stuff like that. So make sure to go and comment down below. Go and follow my Instagram in the description box below and make sure to turn on your notifications. Till next time, I love y'all. Mwah.